Whether you're aware of it or not, AI is at work in almost every single industry from retail to construction and increasingly healthcare. Take diagnosing cancer. In most cases, doctors or technicians look for cancer by taking a sample of tissue and examining the cells under the microscope. This can be a long and painstaking task. Earlier this year, we met an entrepreneur in Japan who is working on an AI technology that could diagnose cancer faster and more accurately. And his inspiration might surprise you. In this bakery, there's more than just pastry magic at work. These checkout machines can tell the difference between a croissant bun and muffin and price items automatically by using artificial intelligence. The technology comes from Hisashi Kanbe. He's a computer engineer based in Nishiwaki in central Japan. For over a decade, Kanbe's software company, BrainCo, focused its AI scan system on retail. But this changed in 2017 when a doctor contacted Kanbe with an ambitious suggestion adapt the bakery AI to diagnose cancer. The first thing he said was, the bread looked like cancer stem cells to me, and we decided to do research together. Globally, about 10 million people died of cancer in 2020. That's nearly one in six deaths. And almost half of these deaths happened in Asia, researchers say. Often because the disease is only discovered and treated after it's too late, according to one industry analyst. I think there's broadly a, a need for, for larger scale screening programs. The other big challenge is from a clinician capacity perspective, we are woefully undersupplied with clinicians, with radiologists when it comes to imaging diagnostics, when it comes to, to having the right sort of pathology tests and capacity to do them. Spotting cancer early may be one of Asia's biggest healthcare challenges, but Kambe believed he was destined to take it on. He recovered from early stage colorectal cancer the year before starting his research. I thought that if I could be of any help in the early detection of cancer, it would be enough for my life work. That work is off to a good start. A hospital in Kobe is training the system to diagnose bladder cancer. In the lab, the machine takes a picture of a microscope slide and analyzes the cell's shape, size, color, and texture. It then identifies ones that are likely cancerous, and the technician confirms the results with their own eyes. I think that AI can reduce our workload, and if we work with it, we can more accurately recognize whether a cell is malignant or not. Brainco says the technology is over 99% accurate and allows a technician to review four times as many cases a day. The company plans to bring the AI system to market by spring 2023. It will have competition, including in the Asia-Pacific region. Lunit in Korea has built algorithms to detect breast cancer in mammograms, Cure AI in India to detect lung cancer in x-rays and CT scans. Tech giants like IBM, Microsoft, and Google are also investing in this growing space. As companies push the technological bar, some experts argue we need stronger scientific and regulatory framework, more peer-reviewed literature, and larger data sets to prevent sample bias. And more people willing to get tested in the first place, even in markets with accessible cancer screening programs like Japan, according to some experts. Japan has a good um, cancer screening um, a system, but uh, participation rate is still low and uh, the screening system is not well uh, organized. But Kambe is a firm believer in being early. Brinko is already training the AI to diagnose more types of cancer. Not to replace the human eye, Kambe says, but to help sharpen its perspective. The market for cancer diagnosis is set to surpass 250 billion US dollars by 2030 by some estimates. So there may be more solutions like Combe's in the future. Now that's it for today's program. Thank you so much for watching. For more on these stories and others, just check out our website, go to cnn.com slash marketplace Asia. I'm Christy Lustad in Hong Kong. We'll see you next time.